Many of us were sitting in living rooms just like this when we first saw LADMO. And if you've only been here for a little while, you might be asking yourself, so what's the big deal? A guy with a goofy outfit and a goofy smile dies? What made him so great? Let me just tell you a couple of things about a man who was more than that outfit, more than that smile. LADMO was an artist, a talented artist. He had the ability to do what precious few in our society can do. He made us smile. No, he made us laugh. Some people thought his humor was just for children. It was actually for the child in all of us. Ladmo left us with a lot of good memories, a great appreciation of life, an image of a smile that we can't separate from the man, and this, a paper bag, a bag that became a coveted prize for thousands of children and adults who wouldn't admit that they wanted one too. tried and tried to get on last night when I was a little kid. Hi, everybody! Hey. Ladman was every kid. He really was every kid. There was, there was absolutely total communication between kids and Ladman. And man, that's a kid. I'm sorry. <laughs> You've created a monster. Yes, I did, I did. It's coming to life. It is. The electrical current is working. Stand back, everybody. Oh, it's oh, frightening. I just did a little cat one. Oh, you're a cat ball, boy. Monster, monster, speak, monster. Monster, please speak. Speak to me, monster, speak. Well, what do you want me to say? Now, enter one Vladimir Walter James Kwiatkowski. Who you say? Vladimir was a graduate of Arizona State and the Sun Devil baseball team. But instead of signing up with the Cleveland Indians, he signed up with Channel 5 and worked his way into the studio as camera operator. Well, Wallace needed a sidekick one day, and Ladd was a willing accomplice. Now, through the miracle of 50s television, in living black and white, the character of Ladmo was born. Well, what I used to do is I used to lock the cameras off. And then he used to run around the camera, get in front of the camera at Wallace, and we used to do our routines in front with the locked camera. What are you playing? Glad to see you. Where have you been? Welcome home. How have you been? As a four, five, six-year-old, I mean, up to 12 years old, I mean, I used to even sometimes watch Wallace and Ladmo, and I think he was important because he represented a uh, time in, in Phoenix when there was, uh, you know, not a lot to do, and pretty much Phoenix was a small town still. Can you make your dummy sing? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, these guys were around for over 25 years, you know, same thing every day, so they had consistency in almost everything they did. Uh, I lived in Phoenix, Arizona for, for, for over a decade, and I watched them every day. And even when I grew up and I was supposed to be too old to watch them, I still watched them because they were very hip. They always kept abreast of the times, and they, they were very hip. Yeah. They were the Saturday Night Live before Saturday Night Live. They're... I think I'll laugh and <laughs> One two, three, whoever's sitting right on the aisle. Hey! Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Alice Cooper! Hey! 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 35 years to get this. And I remember you when you were the spiders. Remember that, Coop? You, you introduced us to uh, television, and I'll never forgive you for it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Coop. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the real sunshine of Arizona, Wallace and Ladmo! With me, when I watched it, I always felt that, you know, Wallace, Wallace was, you know, somebody to listen to. He was, he was a really neat guy. Ladmo was always, to me, it was the, he was a good guy. And, uh, and it, it always seemed like he got into trouble, and you're always for Ladmo, because it's like, he didn't really do it. I mean, it wasn't his fault. He, he really had a very good relationship with the audience, three generations, parents and kids. Anything else you want to add, a final thought? Um, I, I miss my friend. I, I miss my partner. Uh, the three of us never had words. Uh, we disagreed on almost everything. Uh, we disagreed on politics, we disagreed on everything, but it was always with great affection. It was always with a tremendous brotherly love. I can't believe it. This is 
Terry. No more show. What am I going to do? I'm going to miss this show so much. I'm going to miss Wallace and Lado. They were my best friends. They didn't know it, but they were. They were my only friends. I'm going to be so lonely. And you know, most of all, I'm going to miss you too so much. 